Here we have the 2017 Ram 3500 four-wheel drive. Comes with a 6.7 liter straight six-cylinder turbo diesel Cum Cummins engine, the automatic transmission in a beautiful silver color. Let's take a look inside. Before we take a look inside, let's take a look at the key fob. Speak a little bit the remote start engine, so we'll get that going first right now. Starts up just beautifully for us as well. Also the keyless entry feature to get in. Press that button, open the door. It opens up nice and easy there for us. As you can see, I have a nice uh, wood trim right here with our power locks, windows, and mirrors. Nice kind of RAM embroiderment right there. Also have our premium Laramie uh, leather upholstery. They're powered driver and lumbar support and our memory key functions. Pop inside. Ugh. All right. Uh, I think it's a running board. It's kind of hard to get up there, but uh, let's get this fully started there for us. Left side here we have our automatic headlight and fog light controls and our digital gauge cluster dimming or or, um, or bright or make it brighter. Have our rain wiper controls on the left. Some op options here to control what we're seeing on our digital gauge with our radio or our uh, Bluetooth controls in here, and we have our cruise control functions there on the on the on the right. Also have some audio controls here on the back. Go through some of these options on the digital gauge, digital speedometer. Got your engine hours your tire pressure information, your transmission temp, your oil life, your oil, your fuel filter life, battery voltage, your turbo and exhaust, and your gauge summary, fuel economy information, trip information for trip A and B, trailer tow, trailer brake, your audio will show up there, whatever you're listening to, any stored messages will come up here, like you have low on gas, something like that, your screen setup, and back to our digital speedometer. Coming over to the infotainment, we have the, just above that, we have the Alpine sound system all throughout this vehicle. We're gonna go to the main screen. Actually, we're gonna hop into the media section here. Uh, you, can, you can connect your phone via USB, Bluetooth, or auxiliary. Also have a CD a disk drive as well. Gonna go back here, your controls. We do have a high and low uh, heated seat. Also have high and low ventilated seats there for us. A mirror dimmer, show you the backup camera. Uh, we'll go back into controls here. Also take a look at our settings there. We have display, voice, clock, safety and driving assistance, which is where we're gonna wanna get into. We do have the, the park sense for the front and rear. Uh, you can tilt the side mirrors in reverse if you'd like. You can turn that on or off. Park view, backup camera guidelines, your hill start and your auto rain sensing wipers. Also have the cargo cam view there as well, which is kind of nice. What else we got? Climate, apps, top of the apps there. Do you have all your settings for that? Also, do you have a navigation equipment in this vehicle as well, which you can zoom in or zoom out, which is kind of nice. Oops, I don't want to do that. That should be everything. Yeah, like you can, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. If you do, you'll have access to your phone book, recent calls, dial, and messaging center there. So that is kind of nice. Down here, we do have our AC button, our dual zone climbing control, screen on or off button, front and rear uh, defrost, uh, trailer brake, traction control on or off, tow haul mode, engine brake, our front and rear defrost, front uh, heated seats there for the driver and passenger, like I said, also got the heated leather wrap steering wheel, drive mode selector, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel, four -wheel low, 115 volt AC input, two cup holders, Nice center console here, right there. We do have our auxiliary USB and two, two USBs there as well. Got a bunch of room in there and that's where our CD player is. Nice power tilt side sunroof up there. Rear window opener, their controls for a sunroof, universal garage opener and that auto dimming rear view mirror. Let's take a look outside. Good front, we have our halogen headlights and fog lights there, our engine block heater right there. Two front tow hooks, a nice gloss black finish grill, a blacked out RAM badge, and there's a uh, uh, silver color around that as well. Front parking sensors, we have a 20 inch aftermarket alloy fuel rims, which are super clean, gloss black in color. Got that common turbo diesel engine, 3500 with heavy duty. Paint matching door handles and rear tinted windows. We have a six foot three inch box, so you have tons of room there. Got some nice flares there for you. Mud flaps are all around the vehicle as well. Come around to the back here, got those rear parking sensors, our uh, rear, uh, rear tow hook or tow package. Also a 4x4 badge on the right, Open this up. Have a nice spray on box liner in the 6 foot 3 inch box. Also have that cargo bed right there as well that you can roll out as well, which is kind of nice. Put that back up, take a look at those back seats. 
Front of the back here, we do have a nice armrest that RAM badge right there. Power windows in that same wood tray to make everything pop. Tons of Lego in my headroom. Also, the all weather mats in the rear of this vehicle look super nice. Have the same black leather upholstery here in the front. If you didn't know what's in that middle seat, you can fold this down and get additional two cup holders there for you as well. In the back here, do you have heated seats for the two end passengers here in the rear, a 12 volt and two air vents on either side, which is kind of nice. Tons of room back here, it's super spacious. Go back outside. That'll wrap it up the 2017 Ram 3500 Heavy Duty Laramie four wheel drive with the Cummins turbo diesel engine. If you have any questions or want to book a test drive, please feel free to visit us at parkmazza.ca. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.